Hey there lads and ladies and welcome once again back to Warzone 2100. So, time to carry on with our little mission. Now, we have to very quickly get some stuff done. Um, actually, no, we can't really wait to get that heavy machine gun. So, no, we'll just carry on once again. Ah, although, actually, I'll tell this to construct a new constructor. Let's get a few new constructors, because we lost that one in the other mission. Which just brings us down to two. Um... What do we have on the uh, transport so far? We've got, uh, got the thing, we've got the repair, we've got our machine gun, and we've got a load of twin machine guns. Okay, I would have liked to have gone with a bunch of heavy machine guns for this mission, but sadly that isn't viable now. Let's get out to the fields and get this mission started. After all, we have a half an hour mission timer. We don't want to waste our time. Right, now an interesting thing about this mission is you can actually get more reinforcements, as in you can get more transport to come in with more vehicles sort of thing. However, there is a condition for this, and it's that you keep control of the LZ. Come on. Oh, I should have prepared up this guy before I sent him on to another mission. I know, my next one I'll bring in... Oh shit. Okay, we've got a bit of a conflict going on here. Yo, you guys, don't stop. Head back. Come on, right. Oh no, our repair... Oh shit, come on, right. Repair truck, back. Truck, back. Right, what I need to very quickly do is get these things in place. There we are, get these up. Alright, tanks. Just sit here. For the time being, and wait. Because I want to create a force to protect us. Right, now let's hurry up and bring in another repair. Let's bring in twin machine guns. Construction completed. And. There we go. That heavy thing can destroy that, sure. Let's get a radar up. So we can see. Right. Now, what I want to do is go here, create a new tank using the heavy... Actually, no. No, 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 no. Let's um, delete this. Let's go to our old... There's a flamer tank. Where's our standard machine... Oh, there's our standard machine gun tank. Right. He can change his turret to heavy machine gun. We're not going to need light machine gun tanks anymore. Heavy... Killer. There. A very inventive name indeed. Right. Now, these we will want to manufacture a bunch of. Let's see. Let's get two produced in each. In fact, let's just bring what we have on the transport. We want to send. It takes a minute for those to arrive. While we wait for those, we'll just entrench ourselves a little, because we need to cover this. This needs to be protected. Um, can enemies come in here? No, I guess that's actually just uh, its own little sort of spot, so no, they probably can't. But for the time being, this will become our little outpost away from home. We'll build some more turrets as well to cover it. Alright, now you, repair bot. Go repair some of our units instead of just being idle. It's a bit damaged up, so I'm worried some guys will come in and take him out. Oh, repair him. You can reach him. There you go. Everything's repaired up nicely. Alright, there's our reinforcements. This is what we want. Starters, repair him. He is in dire need of it. Machine gun tanks to the front lines. We're going to be heading out very soon. Alright. Let's take out these turrets then. And this one. Come on, guys. And that. Good job. Construction completed. Now let's bring up our repair guys. Because we've taken some hits. And one final turret, just to make sure this is nice and secure. We also build some tank traps, actually. They just act as walls, 
to stop like flamethrowers from getting close you could build like a wall of these sort of thing. Let's see, who need, who's hurt? Who needs heals? No more, okay. Right, so let's start moving out our units. Head along here first, on the bottom of the map. Oh, take these out. These are some of the more advanced buildings that we'll begin to see more frequently. That is the... Can we take this without any casualties? I think we can. Uh, that jeep got owned. Let's um, bring them back for a little repair job. Right. Now, the real challenge of this game, I would say, is that um, basically you're in a constant battle against stronger units, basically. Whenever you try to unlock a technology, like a stronger turret or something like that, you're generally having to fight against that turret in order to get it. So, for example, later on you'll find, like, uh, stronger chassis on tanks, for example, that have a lot more HP than these ones we have. So we're going to have to fight with, well, inferior units against superior units and defeat them in order to unlock those superior units. And then we have to use that to beat even greater units. So, basically, certain parts over time become very dated and weak. I think we're good here. Yeah, this seems quite secure now. This will stop enemies from getting in. Um, in fact, let's produce some more. Just two, so... That's six. So if I get them all to produce one each. And then this one produce another one. We can bring in ten heavy machine guns. Right now. This base has a rear hill. It's got a lot of exploration to do. I'm going to go around though first. I'm not going to take that base head on. I'm going to check this valley. See what we can see. There's like a way up onto here, actually. That might be of interest. have got to be careful, because units will spew out of that base and assault our LZ. That's why we have the turrets in place. The towers. Because they should make quite light work. So some jeeps. It's fine. Scavenger units are incredibly weak. They're very, very basic. Um, no match. A lot of infantry. If the infantry don't get destroyed in two seconds, you can run them over. But, um... There is actually a lighter body sort of thing. Like, this body we have right now is the uh, Viper body. And I know there's one that's, um... It's got a lot less HP, however it allows whatever unit it's attached to to move incredibly quickly. So it's good for, say, fighter planes, which you get later on. Incoming intelligence report. Oh. Incoming transmission. Scavenger base detected. Commander, recover any artifacts held by the scavengers at this location. Okay. I was going to do that anyway. Structure under attack. Oh, we're being attacked. No, they're fine. They can easily repel that. Come on. Take these things out. Ooh. I'm a little bit worried about my tanks. I'm going to draw them back. Just out of the line of fire for the time being. Um, let's get our repair tanks. To head up and around. Okay, we don't have any research. Our production is probably complete by now, so let's bring in our heavy killers. There we go. Now these are the bosses of the early game. These are what you really want. Heading up your force. Because they wreck everything. Our tanks up very quickly, sending them around. Oh, look, see, they're yeah, sending some little tricycle against us. A bunch of infantry coming through. 
reinforcements will be here in less than 30 seconds. And I think we'll do some sort of a... Once we take this base out, we'll use our heavy tanks to come in from the front here. And we'll use these guys coming from the back here. And we'll just smash this bit to smithereens. It's like, there's probably some stuff in this area. I might want to check. Here they come. Here we go. Let's move these guys out. Fresh, fresh faces, fresh turrets, fresh super tanks. I mean, they only have heavy machine guns on, but, you know, <laughs> makes very light work of anything they come across. Uh, tricycle. This isn't going to do much. Right, come on, repair tanks. Get up here. They're going to need help. You know what? Let's start assaulting, actually, with these guys. I think they can do it fine on their own. They're heavy tank. They're heavy frickin' machine guns. Yeah, look at them just make such light work of everything. Alright, let's move up. Got an infantry. That ain't nothing. Turret here. It's explosive. It ain't gonna last any frickin' time against us, though. There we go. We've got some artifacts. It's probably gonna unlock that turret that, that they've been using against us. Right. Head in, heavy tur uh, tanks. Heavy killers. Ooh, crikey. There's a lot of units here. Okay, there we go. I think we're taking out their defences now. Sweet. Now our units can team up. That's one big fighting force. Our repair turrets at the core of it. Right. Here we go. Half track propulsion. This is using tracks and wheels. What have we got going on down here? Nothing much. There we go. Our repair tanks going to work. Right. Luckily having two repair tanks means they can fix each other up should either one get hurt. You just need to make sure not to lose one in a conflict. That's why better to keep them out of it if you can. Um the head along this ridge, interesting. Might be a base down here. Let's go down there. I don't think there's anything along this ridge. Oh, we've forgotten to pick up that research, actually. We better go back for that soon. Uh oh. This tank's in trouble. No, he's fine. See, flamers are useless. Look how short range they are. There we go. Frickin' eradicated. Pair of tanks, head up. Get everything fixed up. Um, where's our little machine gun dude? Let's pick him out for a little special mission. Here he is. Head over there. Go pick up the research. <laughs> this light machine gun from the start of the game. Yeah, let's see for how long we can keep him alive, because I think I'm going to recycle. Oh, research is done. Which means we can go in here. And for example, we can change this. On wheels, you can see like how quick it is at driving up hills, how quick it is on like flat terrain, the weight of it. I change it to this, the weight goes up, the speed decreases. However, the HP of the unit increases, as you can see, from 305 to 370, which is pretty nice. I do like to have more HP on uh, units. Movement speed isn't quite so important. Um, Big flamer, even though I'm probably not going to use it much. Uh, these guys can stay with wheels because I don't intend for them to get caught up in combat at all. Right. There we go. This base is still intact. Strange. I what's keeping it intact. I guess there's some buildings over here, maybe? Let's have a little look. Up in there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Nothing here. Let's head back to the LZ then. Gather up our research. Return to LZ. Yep, we're on our way. Research. Ooh, mortars! Now, mortars are very good. Long range, anti building sort of units. Very good to have some of them on the back lines. It's also good because you can make um, mortar pits, which are like uh, a defensive structure, and they will defend you very well from a distance. Uh, they're good to, you know, put on your back lines. You can have, you can have your machine gun turrets on the front lines, and have your uh, old turret mortars on the back lines just firing over long distance. There we go. Easy mission. Project team updates. Oh. Team beta report. Finding out information from our other teams. Our exploratory teams have recovered a few artifacts. There is another force operating in this sector. So far, we've kept away from them, and they from us. They appear better equipped, but have made no hostile moves. We are proceeding with caution. Team Gamma, report. Nothing to report. It's quiet and peaceful up here in the mountains. We've discovered no artifacts and have encountered no hostiles. That's a very strange message from Gamma there. Commander, we're picking up encoded signals at this location. Mm -hmm. Take a scout force to investigate the signals. Use trucks to build defenses at the LZ. Once you have scouted the area, use reinforcements to clear and secure the zone. Mission timer activated. Here we go, we've got another mission to do. Let's take, um, oh, let's try to make sure we take our heavy machine guns here. Take, this is a truck, right? Yep, there we go. Got heavy machine guns, heavy machine guns. Um, can't see a repair tank. Let's get all these guys to move out from under here. I can't see a damn thing. There we are, repair tank. Take them with them. Some more heavy turrets. That puts us up to how many? Nine out of ten. Okay, I can just about see that behind the hovering text. There we go. We're ready to set off. Here we go. Right. Incoming transmission. Uh oh. Warning. You are entering a restricted area. Return to where you came from, or be destroyed. Repeat. Return to your designated zone, or be destroyed. Message ends. Okay. I'd rather not be destroyed. <laughs> but I have a mission to do. Right. Let's think here. Where should I set up a line of defense? Okay, well, start heading out. Keep the paratruck back. Let's secure an area first around here. Let's see where we can uh, set up turrets and the like. Okay, we've got like this nice ridge up here, which could be quite good. It's got a couple of entryways though, so... Okay. Set up a sensor here, so we get a nice wide area of uh, vision across both points. And then we'll set up some defences here, set up some defences here. Maybe some on this ridge too. And then we've got like a nice wall to cover us. That could work. Ooh. Please get them off of my truck. Major research completed. Completed major research. I can upgrade the mortar further. Now I definitely want to make some mortar tanks. Uh, there we go. Now these guys got long range, high power, it's gonna be pretty nice. There we go. 
mortar tank. There we go, that'll do. Turn to the game. Let's produce some of those. Um, Construction completed. A couple of each. Alright, so let's get some machine gun turrets here. Um, shoot this building. The building is kind of blocking our truck. There we go. Uh, I can't bring any reinforcements yet. This is uh, strange. Um, my poor little repair tank is in a little bit of trouble there. Let's move out a bit. Leave our truck here to build. Keep him back though, I need to make sure to keep him separate. There we go. Right, heading towards that red marker. Let's make sure to get some good turrets along here, because we've got the, uh, the old resources building up. Because even though you're away from your base, your resources continue to gather. Which is very handy. Um, before we check this signal, let's check the area in general, actually, because there's a lot of space around here. Right. Destroy that. There we go. Right. There you construct another one. There. We have a nice wall of them. Up there. Looking quite intimidating, looking down. Up this hill. There we go. Oh, we found a sensor. What's this? A lot of scavengers making a run for it. Now we've got reinforcements now available. Back up. Back up, guys. Right. Repair truck. Head out. Reinforcements now available. Now I want to get some mortars out here. Oh, we've still not produced all our mortars, have we? Oh no, they've just been produced. Okay. Six of those. And some twin machine guns. Um, actually, cancel... No, take the mortar. Cancel a twin machine gun and take a repair tank. There we go. Bring them in. Right. Oh, we've got more research, more damage for our mortars, we'll take that, definitely. Okay, let's just build some sort of uh, an interesting... We'll just build some sort of an interesting thing that just covers both the things from there, actually. Oi, you, what are you doing? Where's our repair tank? Where? Where's my repair tank? I think it's been killed. Just another one. Strange. Can have these guys head back to the LZ. I don't want to sacrifice any tanks needlessly. If we need to sacrifice tanks, we'll recycle them, not sacrifice them. Don't want to waste precious resources. With that in mind, something I haven't made yet. Let's do this. Wheels, be fine, and that. There we go. Just call this our scanner tank. There we go. Now, the usefulness of that is it gives you extended vision, which your mortar tanks will actually need. Um, so I should create one of those to utilize the mortar tanks to their fullest. They are long range, and if I want to... Oh, 
He's trapped. Good job. How do I turn you into deconstruct mode? Uh, deconstruct this. Come on. Bloody trapped my truck. I need to reconstruct that. Right, you guys. Head up here. We need repairs. See, look how slow those mortar tanks are. But they're powerful. That's what makes them worth it. That poor twin turret, uh, twin machine gun tank's trying to get through. Uh. <laughs> I don't think in real life you can get away with bumping into other vehicles on the road just because they're driving slowly. Get out of the road, Grandma! Construction right. I'm bringing some more reinforcements. Uh. I want that sensor tank, I want another repair tank, heavy machine guns, and two machine guns, and our little machine gun dude. There we go. Send them in. I want a repair tank. Go repair this guy. There we are now, we've got a hell of a force coming in. I don't think anything else needs repairs. Nope. Just chill out. I don't know, he's repairing this guy. Okay, fair enough. Chill out here then. Right. Now I should actually um, let's do this and that. There we go. Now I think if I press that, no, it doesn't select them. I can't remember the controls for fast selecting groups. I can remember how to assign groups. But I can't remember how to quick. Select groups. Uh, there we go. They're, they're assigned to numbers, but I can't remember how to use those numbers. Oh well. Right. So, unit one, head out. Unit two, follow up. They're our back line, these are our front line. These guys are very quick though, so. He's very much our back line. Hello. Uh, hello again. Your attacks upon us will not go unpunished. You are in contravention of the new paradigm. Message hello. ends. Completed. Well, they don't sound too friendly. You will be destroyed, they said on the end there. There we go, let's get that built. Right. Got a few things to get repaired. There he goes, he's getting him. Just about. Oh, here's our reinforcements. There we go, get that guy fixed up. Completed. And this fella. There we go. There we go, we've got a defensive wall. And here's our other forces. Get our other repair tank out here. Now our sensor tank will want to keep with us. Okay, something attacked us. Right. Frontline units. Right. He is a member of group two. Just need to remember how to use groups. That's the uh, problem here. And these guys are group one. Right. Now we move up to group two. Take out all these little bastards. Oh. These must be the new Paradigm units, as you can see they're advanced units like ours. Oh, we're going to lose a twin machine gun. No, a twin machine gun was sacrificed. Doesn't matter, I guess. Enemy base detected. I'm just a scavenger outpost. 
Oh, shit. They sneak attacked us. They sneak attacked our vulnerable units. Little bastards, they hit our mortars bloody hard. Alright, let's lock on our sensor onto that guy. I think that gives us vision or something, I can't remember. There you go, yeah, it allows us to see it. Now our mortars can utilise that. Let's start researching some stuff in our research base. Oh, here they come. Oh. I can't select my bloody units for some reason. It's not letting me... Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, as far as I know, that thing doesn't actually do damage. That weird blue beam. I think it, like... It targets or something like that. Right. Let's get our repair trucks up here. Now we're destroying their defenses with our mortars. Which makes a light work of them. In fact, we'll play, replace our mortars that we lost. Oops, two there, two there, two there.